On behalf of you and Watch, my name is Rachel Frankel and I live in Israel. I've come here today as a mother. Twelve days ago, my son Naftali and two other teenage students, Eyal Ifrach and Gilad Shair, whose mothers are sitting behind me, were kidnapped on their way home from school. Since then, we've heard nothing. No news, no sign of life. With your permission, I'd like to tell you about the boys. My son Naftali is 16. He loves to play guitar and basketball. He's a good student and a good boy, a combination of serious and fun. Eyal loves to play sports and cook. Gilad is an amateur pastry chef and loves movies. My son texted me, said he's on his way home, and then he's gone. Every mother's nightmare is waiting and waiting endlessly for her child to come home. We wish to express our profound gratitude for the waves of prayers, support, and positive energy pouring in from around the world. Being in this assembly, I wish to thank the UN Secretary General for condemning the abduction of our boys, expressing his solidarity with the families, and calling for their immediate return. I thank the International Red Cross for stating clearly that international humanitarian law prohibits the taking of hostages and for demanding the immediate and unconditional release of our boys. At the same time, I believe much more can be done and should be done by so many. That is why we three mothers have come here today before the United Nations and before the world to ask everyone to do whatever they can to bring our boys back, bring back our boys. Mr. President, it is wrong to take children, innocent boys and girls, and use them as instruments of any struggle. It is cruel. This council is charged with protecting human rights. I wish to ask, doesn't every child have the right to come home safely from school? We just want them back in our homes, in their beds. We just want to hug them again. Thank you, Mr. President.